Hey Samir, it's Chris Reed here from Arter SEO. Uh, look, I've been a long time user of your arch rival Boomerang for years and uh, they really pissed me off. <laughs> uh, they had a, a Black Friday special where they offered a 30% discount to new people. I said, well, why the heck don't I get a discount? I've been your customer for years. Uh, they refused to budge and so I cancelled my subscription and I've been checking uh, out your service and uh, from what I can see, it's really nice, it's great, and it's cheaper, so uh, awesome for you. Without sounding too vindictive though, I thought, heck, I uh, will have a look at your website and see what we can do to help you take over the world. And I see that there's a whole lot of uh, potential. So the first thing I did was go over to Google and type in site colon and your domain name. And so this shows all of the pages that you have indexed in Google. Uh, in the order of authority from uh, what Google sees as the most authoritative to least authoritative. Uh, and the first thing I see is your like title tags aren't really that well set. Like, so your title tag at the top here, yeah, it's got your brand name and then what you do. It's much more important to have what you do rather than who you are. Because unless, unless you've got a super strong brand and that's going to compel people to click on that, then it, it's much more important to show that you're the solution to whatever they're searching for. And so, same with this uh, description, it's not, it's not uh, as full as it should be, and, and same with the, these ones here. Uh, other than that, uh, it, it looks, looks pretty okay, uh, but if we go over and look at your site traffic, so uh, you're probably familiar with SEMrush here, so it shows that you rank for 4,500 keywords, generating you 2,400 visitors, which is not, not bad. But uh, over the last year, it's been pretty stagnant, right? They, it you know, picked up in July and then has gone back down to you know, not, not too much above where it was a year ago, which is not amazing. Then if we look here, here's the keywords that you ranked for and here's the position you have. And so, yeah, there's plenty of stuff on, on the front page, but there's plenty more stuff that you're not on the front page for Google, you know, uh, thousands of other keywords. Uh, so if we rank those keywords by search volume, you know, we can see that there's some huge ones like, you know, okay, not all of them are going to be that relevant, like Gmail or to-do list, you know, to-do list could probably work, 74,000 searches, I mean, a couple of those people have got to be uh, interested you, Boomerang Gmail, you know, 12,000, and you're number 20. You know, follow-up email, again, 12,000, 430, snooze menu, oh, that's not really good. But, you know, but you can see there's plenty of great emails, that, uh, keywords there. A third way that I've ranked them is by cost per click. You know, and generally, uh, something has a high cost per click because it converts really well. And, you know, if you, we look at this one, how to send delayed email in Gmail, you know, perfect keyword for you. Sure, the search volume's not very high. But look at the cost per click, $108. I mean, that's crazy. It, you know, I, I imagine that the conversion rate on that is going to be phenomenal. And, you know, you're at number 14. Moving from number 14 up to page one is really not that much work. I bet fiddling around with your title tags and descriptions on that page is probably all that's required or maybe uh, increasing the, uh, the content or internal linking. Something very simple like that would be enough to pop you up the front on the to the top of, of page one, or onto page one, and you know each click's worth one hundred and eight dollars. So I went to Google and typed in uh, exactly that: how to send delayed email and Gmail. And you can see here this is called a featured snippet, and this is by CNET. But you can see CNET's not actually the number one result. See, they're not here. And here's the arch rival uh, Boomerang, who has three results. But then CNET is. Uh, yeah, is down here at number one, two, three, four, five. But the reason that they're uh, featured up the top here is because they have a rich snippet. So how would you steal that rich snippet? Well, you need to move on to the front page, which again, not going to be that hard, and then have a better snippet. It's as simple as that, and you'll pop up the top. And that's just, you know, I'm, sh uh, I'm sure one of many. Imagine all of these have rich snippets as well, and there's, you know, Boomerang, you know, and so we can compile the list of, of which ones we need to do and how to beat them. Uh, so one, one thing that you probably know about uh, how Google determines where websites should rank 
yes, it is very important that you answer whatever the person is searching. You have a really fast loading website that you know looks good and provides great value. But at the end of the day, it's the person that has the most authority that wins. And if we go over and look at uh, Arch Driver Boomerang, we can see they have a trust flow of 23, which that's basically how much uh, authority they have. And that comes from 6,258 websites linking to them. And I can tell straight off the bat that, that they've got some toxic links because that's a pretty small trust flow from that many, uh, that many referring domains. You know, 90, 92,000 domains from six, uh, 92,000 backlinks from 6,000 domains is too many. So that they should actually do a toxic link analysis. But if we go over and look at your website, we can see that you only have a trust flow of 13. And so really we want to increase that trust flow. Uh, because 20, 23 to 13 is uh, a big step up. Um, because this is not actually a linear scale, it's logarithmic, so each step's exponentially harder. So uh, that's another way we can really improve your rankings. So who am I anyway? Well, that's me right there. My name's Chris Reed. I'm the CEO and founder of Ardor SEO and ex-Boomerang user. <laughs> and we specialize in working with companies all over all over the country, uh, well, my home country, Australia, uh, the US, the UK, and some non-English speaking countries as well. And we help them uh, be found by the people that are actively searching for their products and services. Uh, so I'd like I'd like to uh, show you exactly how we can help you know thousands of more people that are actively searching for your services find you and take action. Uh, so please click the button below this video. It's going to pop up my calendar. Just find a date and time that works for you. Book in a call, and I'll show you exactly how we can do that. Well, thank you very much for your time. Have a great day, and talk soon. Bye bye.